So the Baltimore Ravens had a player that was working at multiple positions this offseason, but now the Ravens have narrowed it down to one, and they made it official on the roster. Uh, also, Rashad Bateman speaks on his contract extension and his role with the Baltimore Ravens moving forward, and the team also signed a couple of veterans. Team, keep it clean. We got a lot to talk about in today's video. We're going to get straight into it, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video because it helps out a whole lot. Now, uh, Malik Cunningham who the Baltimore Ravens signed during the season last year, toward the end of last season, and they signed him as a quarterback. So when they first signed him, a lot of us envisioned like, oh, this is the Baltimore Ravens really getting ahead of the game. Tyler Huntley's contract is getting ready to expire. They're going to need a backup quarterback. They're going to need somebody who can be mobile like a Lamar Jackson. May not be Lamar Jackson. Obviously, nobody's Lamar Jackson, but... They got somebody that may be able to come in, learn the system, and then next year he could be that backup quarterback for the Ravens. So stay ready so you ain't got to get ready because Tyler Huntley is officially a Brown now. Uh, so we'll see how that works itself out. Um, so that's what we all thought was going to happen with Malik Cunningham. But John Harbaugh, he tried to warn us last year. He said, hey, they signed Malik Cunningham. We're going to try him out at quarterback. We're going to try him out at receiver. We're even going to try him out at return, man. So when he said that, I was like, okay, not the best start, but let's see how it goes. So going into the offseason this year, John Harbaugh said a lot of the same things. He said, we're going to try Malik Cunningham out at quarterback and wide receiver. A lot of times when you have multiple positions as a football player, you really have no position. So that is something that had worried me. I was like, ooh, if they saying that, they doing experiments with him and what? not so let's just see how it works out hoping for the best but when Harbaugh said that that had lowered my expectations but now it's official it ain't no more quarterback and wide receiver no 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 Malik Cunningham is officially a wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens now they have made the position change official it's on the website and all he is a wide receiver now don't sleep on the trick plays now. The Baltimore Ravens may have something up their sleeve because they got somebody a wide receiver, but he could play quarterback too. So that's something that could be significant. Now with that, I am worried though. Like I said, it does concern me um, because I feel like he had a better shot at making the team as a quarterback. But hey, maybe the Baltimore Ravens, they obviously saw something different because uh, I felt like all right, the, the quarterback competition right now is Josh Johnson. Uh, and then it's two rookies, Devin Leary and uh, Emory Jones. And then it was Malik Cunningham as well. So I felt like he had a little shot right there. But at wide receiver, like, where is he going to go? Unless he just straight up show out. Unless he just straight out, straight up Terrell Pryor this thing. Well, early Terrell Pryor, like Brown's Terrell Pryor, something like that. Then I don't know where he's going to fit in. But again, that's what the offseason's for. That's what these OTAs are for. That's what training camps for. That's what preseason's for. So everything will end up working itself out. Now, somebody who is actually an official wide receiver, they came into the league as a wide receiver. They've always been a wide receiver for the entirety of their career. That is Rashad Bateman. And Rashad Bateman, he spoke to the media today. And some of my favorite parts about his presser. Uh, he was asked about his contract extension. He said the extension came out of nowhere. I didn't see them doing that, but it was a no-brainer. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, it, 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 only, it not only came out of nowhere for him, but it came out of nowhere for all of us too because, yeah, we ain't see it coming at all. Like, I, I know of maybe like one person that expected Rashad Bateman to get a contract extension. Shout out to Rita, the NFL chick. But besides her, like, I don't think any of us thought that Rashad Bateman was getting a contract extension. Most of us had it penciled in. Oh, Ravens going to trade Rashad Bateman. They're going to get rid of Rashad Bateman. But he's here. So let's, let's make the best of it. And let's hope that he really just goes off this year. Now, my favorite part about his press, and shout out to Sarah Ellison for capturing this. Um, Rashad Bateman was asked what it feels like to be in the spotlight of the Baltimore Ravens offense again. Because obviously last year he wasn't really in the spotlight of it. Because it was Zay Flowers, it was Mark Andrews, it was Likely, it was Odell Beckham Jr., it was Nelson Aguilar, Rashad Bateman was back there somewhere, but he wasn't in the spotlight, but this was his response, and he probably answered this question the best way he possibly could. He said, I'm just blessed to be healthy. I'm not worried about how many balls I get. Whoa, hold up now. Uh, I'm not worried about if Todd Munkin called the play for me. The only thing I can control is what I control, and that's getting open and blocking. I don't play QB. I'm not the OC. I'm not the O-line. Anything outside of that, I'm going to help this team out the best way possible. So shout out to Rashad Bateman. We're looking forward to it. We, we are all looking forward to it because this is such 
a pivotal year for Rashad Bateman. This is such a crunch time season for Rashad Bateman because, yeah, they gave you the contract extension, but they gave you really basic, moderate, low contract extension, especially for what wide receivers are getting. So now show them like, all right, you keeping me around was a good idea, but real soon you're going to have to give me a fat raise. Now, speaking of fat, well, not fat, but bigger, but larger guys. Defensive linemen. You can never have enough defensive linemen on your team because the big boys, they got to do their thing. They get down in the dirt. They do a lot of dirty work, and they don't get the admiration for it or recognition for it that a lot of them deserve. Um, but Baltimore Ravens, they like, look, uh, we know about defensive linemen. We know we needed some more. Uh, and they signed two defensive linemen, two veteran defensive linemen today. That was uh, defensive tackle Deidre Sanat. And nose tackle Josh to Powell. And let's read from the article on BaltimoreRavens.com. Uh, the writer for this was actually Matt Ryan. Not Falcons Matt Ryan, but Ravens Matt Ryan. Anyway, it says Baltimore is adding some size. The Ravens have signed defensive tackle uh, Deadrian De De Sinat and nose tackle Joseph to Powell to their 90-man roster. The Ravens now have, now have 91 players on their roster as David Ajabo is an international player exemption. Uh, it says Sanat is a six foot one. He's 305 pounds, was a third round pick by the Falcons in 2018. And he spent three seasons in Atlanta before being released. He signed with the Bucks in 2022, uh, where he was on the practice squad and active roster for two seasons. In 37 career games, Sanat has 52 tackles, one sack, and one fumble recovery. So he's been around for a couple years. Well, no, well, 2018, that's more than a couple years. He's been around for a little while. So cool. All right. And then after playing six seasons for the Bengals, all for the Bengals. So he's coming straight from across the AFC North. Uh, Tapao is staying in the AFC North. The six foot three, 340 pound lineman signed with Cincinnati after going undrafted in the 2017 draft. So this man was an undrafted rookie free agent uh, in 2017 and he has lasted this long. That's crazy. That, that takes a lot. Like, yeah, so shout out to him. He said he has played every season since Besides 2020 when he sat out due to the pandemic. Okay, understandable. Uh, he started, uh, excuse me, he has started uh, 23 games. He has 23 starts in 65 games with 86 tackles, six QB hits, two sacks, and one forced fumble. So there we go. That's a little background on the Baltimore Ravens' newest uh, defensive lineman. And then, of course, let's read what Jeff Zrebic had to say about the two. He said the Ravens added to their defensive line room, signing defensive tackle DeAdrian De Sanat and nose tackle Josh Tapao with Michael Pierce and Rash Rashad Nichols sideline for OTAs. Ravens were down to just six interior defensive linemen. So uh, this is a depth move because you need bodies out there to take the reps. You can't just give the reps to the same people over and over and over and over and over again. They need break. They need rest. They need some relaxation time, and they need some recuperation time. Um, so that's why you bring in those two bodies, especially with uh, Michael Pierce and Rayshard Nichols. Ray Nichols has been I feel like he's been with the Ravens for a little minute. But um, especially with those two sideline, which I did not know that they were. So there goes yet another update that not only for y'all, but for me, too, because I had no clue about that. He also mentioned how Sanat was a third-round pick by Atlanta in 2018. He's played parts of five seasons in the NFL the last two years with Tampa, and he mentioned the 52 career tackles in one sack. Uh, and then he also talked about how Tapao played his whole career with the Bengals. So Ravens uh, are busy, as always. They've been getting active, as always. Uh, and hopefully y'all learn something new, because I sure did uh, when it comes to all Baltimore Ravens. Thank y'all for allowing us to be one of the channels that keep y'all updated with everything going on with the Baltimore Ravens because it's a lot of people that do it, and it's a lot of people that do it much better than we do. Uh, but I appreciate you all taking the time every single day to come through here, uh, and whether it's one video, whether it's two videos that we do a day, whether it's one of them crazy days where we do like five videos because there's a lot going on, but I appreciate y'all coming through here daily and showing support to the channel. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single update update not a single video not any kind of news with the Baltimore Ravens because I don't want you to miss anything leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot I love y'all I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all real soon